Hello everyone and welcome back. This time we're playing as Fred the Yellow Chameleon in Bombland. Alright, first things first, we don't want to forget this easy to get crown in the first room. Right up here. Let's talk to Mr. Rabbit. Yep, that's about what I expected from a place called Bombland. This level is all about teaching us how our projectiles affect the environment and other enemies. Because our environment is an enemy too, don't think it's not. It's out to get us just as much as the enemies are. So in here we're introduced to these white bombs. If we throw something into them, they explode in a chain. Which is going to become important to remember later. These blue bombs with rockets on their backs are the standard enemy for the stage, and they're going to be what we're spitting the most. Like this. Let's not forget to pick up that crown that spawned behind us. But yeah, that's the basics of how this level works. You spit things into other things. Pretty simple, right? That wall looks awfully fragile. I bet if we spit something into it... Yep, there it goes. Still pretty simple. This room's a bit more tough. We need to make a safe passage for us. Thankfully, we only actually need to shoot the first platform. If we shoot any of the others, we won't be able to jump up here. It's kind of tricky like that. In this room, there are more of those white bombs, which, if you remember correctly, we can blow up in a chain. Like so. Blowing all of them up gives us a crown, so it's important to do that. Or, well, not important, but you should do that. I did fall down just there because I swung the wrong direction, which means the room resets, but we still get to keep the crown. Did I mention that this level has my favorite music in the game? Because it does. There's some more crowns up here on the pipes. The pipes don't have shadows, so it can be difficult to tell where exactly the pipes are in relation to reality. But you eventually get the hang of it. This is a rather short level, so the crowns are bunched together a bit. We can't blow that thing up on the floor unless we use a grenade, and we can't use a grenade unless we shoot a bomb at the grenade. In this room, we have to wait, make our way across a bridge that's actively being shot at by cannonballs. Wherever the cannonball hits, a piece of the floor goes away. And the floor also falls when we step on it. This room is a lot like the previous one, where we have to make a path for ourselves using the bombs. This time we do have to shoot more than one of them, though. We can jump pretty high, but we can't jump high enough to make up for two stacks of blocks. We're gonna need to bring those down to our level. In case you haven't noticed yet, something this game has a habit of doing is repeating challenges you've seen, but making them more difficult, gradually increasing them. It, do it does that a lot, really. And you're gonna see that the most in a later level. The penultimate level, actually. This could have gone way better, but if we blow all of them up, we still get the crown for it. It's just cooler if we do it all at once. But there are already a lot of things in this game that look really cool, especially for a platformer, so... I think you're good. This room has almost nothing in it, just the word BOMB, with one of the letters missing. If we blow them all up at once, we get a crown, like usual. But that's really all there is in here. In this room, we need to blow up these little cracked walls. And then you see the cracked floor, and we need to shoot these bombs at the grenades to blow up the cracked floor. It randomly decides which piece of floor has the circle on it, so it's different every time. There are more cannonballs this time that shoot at more pieces of the floor. The trick is to- oh dear. The trick is to wait until they shoot before you make your move, or else you end up jumping into them like that. Here's the final room before the boss. There are a lot of bombs, and there are a lot of grenades. The danger, of course, comes from the bombs themselves, which try to fly down at you. The grenades are rather slow-moving. You can also accidentally chain explosions into each other and blow yourself up. I recommend you avoid blowing yourself up whenever possible. I think it really helps. Alright, I completely wrecked this boss up here, so I'm just gonna be quiet.
Alright, that's it for Bombland, and I'll see you guys next time for one of the two difficult levels of the game.